Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Science. And I'm a farmer. Or at least I'm going to be testing some farming. Um, and I'm calling this Farming Fortune. Because I had a question about whether or not the fortune enchant actually helps. So, we are... So I, I did this, I built up this big old thing. 128 long rows of crops and that is the moraine all over the place isn't it <laughs> okay sorry about that hopefully that doesn't look too bad on youtube so we are going to do some stuff here i've got uh i've got a, a testing world it's a super flat world i don't know why those guys are there but because i have mob spawning turned off but they may have already existed so we're going to do some testing here and this is this is the the rationale um, and you're not going to watch all of this, but what's going to happen? I've got the four different crops, right? We've got wheat, potatoes, carrots, and beetroot. And, uh, and then for that, I've got, oh, interesting. I made a mistake there, but that's okay. So wheat and then different, different harvesting methods using your hand using a hoe using an axe using an axe with fortune three using a pickaxe using a pickaxe with fortune three using a shovel and using a shovel with fortune three and then we've got on the the things with tools we've got wood stone iron diamond and gold I don't think the uh, the tool material makes a difference, but I just want to see. And uh, and then we're going to basically go and harvest that and then stick them in, in these here. So, I'm going to do this in survival. And, uh, and so I'll show you, like here, this is wheat harvested with my hands. And I'll go pick up all the, everything that I get. It takes a little while, 128 blocks. And then I'm gonna go stick it in one of the chests back there and then count them up. And then I will switch to using, I guess this still counts as my hand, it's not a tool. Um, and I'm gonna count up with the wheat, you have both the seeds and the wheat itself. Now the wiki says that Fortune, the fortune enchant increases the maximum number of drops of crops. So that means um, wheat drops one piece of wheat, right? And then it drops up to, uh, it's like zero to four seeds or something like that. So that is, um, so that is what we're looking for here. So out of that, we got <laughs> two stacks of wheat three and just over three and a half stacks of seeds this is annoying <laughs> i don't want this many seeds this is exactly what i was expecting so let's uh let's go pop off that because it doesn't matter let's stick it in there and my idea was i could probably do multiple passes of this cool so now ho. Oh. And the other thing I wanted to check and see was, did harvesting crops actually cause durability loss on your tools? And given how, how little durability a wood hoe has, I'm going to say that the answer is no, it does not, because it has not worn at all, has it? Okay, that's good to know. So that means if you have, uh, if you have, use a tool, it's got fortune three on it because maybe that helps then you can go and uh, make yourself go ahead and make yourself a like you can have a special uh, you can't put dirt you can't put fortune on a hoe but maybe you want to use like a an axe you could use a wooden axe with fortune three on it okay awesome okay so i'm going to go do these up and what we should be able to see is that in over time we get an average 
right? So this I got three stacks and, and 41 seeds. And here I got three stacks and 35 seeds. So it's about the same. Got a few more here, but I don't think that's due to the hoe. I think that's due to the random number generator. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go and harvest up a bunch of these and I'll come back. Okay, so using the ax, I got about three stacks of about 23 seeds. Now, if we go and put put fortune three on this wooden ax, I'm expecting that we'll find uh, that we got, we're getting a lot more seeds. We won't get any more wheat, at least according to the wiki. So I should still end up with exactly 128 wheat, but I will probably end up with quite a few more seeds, which isn't all that exciting when it comes to the wheat, but, because you always end up with so many extra, so many extra, oh, look at this. Oh yeah, look at, oops, no, don't do that, don't do that. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just over six stacks of seeds there, which is uh, about doubled, a little less than doubled. So fortune on an ax definitely gets you more wheat, gets you more seeds when you harvest wheat, which again, not the most useful thing in the world, but at least we've demonstrated it. So, ooh, more than that. Awesome. Okay. Look at that. Yes, about doubled. Crazy. Okay. Pickaxe. So all the weed is done. I've harvested everything. And uh, yeah, what we found was pretty consistent. So uh, using your hand or a hoe or a tool without an enchant is all about the same. Um, you get one one wheat per and then you get about a wheat uh, about one and a half one and a, a three quarters seeds per planted thing so that's so we end up with about three stacks and three and a half stacks for the whole 128 but on the ones with enchant with the fortune three enchant it about doubles the amount of seeds so you get six and a little over almost seven between six and a half and seven so that's uh, so that's that. Now I don't think that the uh, the the material is going to make a difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, oh, let's see here. Let's go get all these carrots by hand and see what we get there. I'm sure it will be the same. I, I'm not expecting this to be different, but I want to find out for sure. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to try all the different tools was like in the villager area that I have on the Minecraft land party server, um, the farm area is surrounded by stone and I have the tool that I have, uh, fortune on is, uh, is an efficiency five pickaxe, uh, which is great for mining up, you know, like diamonds and lapis and things like that. But um, when you get to the end of a row, and if you accidentally click too long, you uh, you can end up tearing up the area around your farm. And I would think that the same would be true. Oh, so we got five and a half stacks here with by hand. I would think the same would be true for uh, a shovel, you could actually accidentally dig up your farmland, which you don't want. So in that case, an ax, if the ax holds true, and it, it appears like it will, having a special dedicated farming ax would be good, and you could do it out of wood. You can just put fortune three on a wooden ax, and then you don't have to worry about durability, and just use it for farming. And, it, and if it doubles your crop load, that's that's awesome. It seems like if you're gonna be doing manual farming, you can't afford not to have a Fortune 3 ax to do it with. And that's what I'm trying to determine. So we will see. I'm gonna do a few more rows of these. I'm gonna have to come up with new wooden tools here. So I'm gonna have to go back into, um, into creative mode or 
use commands. Uh, I don't really need that guy, do I? Uh, so that I can actually come up with the wooden tools again. Um, and so let me take care of that and I will be right back. Okay, something interesting happened with the carrots. So I was getting for unenchanted tools and hands, um, five and a half ish stacks of carrots for the 128 blocks. But with the enchant, I'm getting nine. So it's not doubling. Um, and this probably has to do with the, uh, the number of the range of the number of carrots that drop. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with potatoes. Cause in my experience, potatoes have uh, different, uh, they, they drop more in my experience than potato than the, the carrots, but let's see. So the potatoes drop just about the same five and a half stacks as the uh, as the carrots uh, one thing I'm curious to see is the poison potato raid see if fortune affects that um, it's it seems to be pretty rare based on on this on these three rows the uh, poison potatoes drop at about two percent um, oops careful there see that's that's the problem um, so I may not, I may have to run more trials in order to uh, see if that rate actually changes because I'm getting two or three per row. Um, if I got on the fortune ones, if I got six for all of those, that might actually mean something. Um, but I don't know if we'll. Uh... Oh, look at that! I have two poison potatoes in my inventory. And that was with the fortune. So I have a feeling fortune does not affect the poison potatoes. Interesting. Um, and you're probably thinking, why does it care? I don't know. I actually like poison potatoes in the game because they're, they're useless. They don't do anything. Um, and maybe someday they'll, they'll give them some value. But at the moment, they are pretty much useless. Uh, and they're hard to get. I mean, not too hard. You can obviously just farm potatoes and you'll get them, but uh, they're actually, they're rare enough and you have to work for them that you could actually use them as the basis of an economy on a server. That's my opinion. Uh, so we'll see. And especially if fortune doesn't increase your chance of actually picking up poison potatoes that makes it even more so so you'd have to build gargantuan automated farms or um or semi-automated farms in order to just you know maximize the number of potatoes just by the number of poison potatoes that you're getting just by increasing the number of potatoes that you're farming interesting oh but look at this this one i came up with five but that was just an unenchanted pickaxe. Oh, so interesting. So let's, I don't know. Um, I may not get enough data to get a statistically significant answer on the poison potato problem, which is uh, interesting. So I'll have to design a test where I can actually figure it out. And with the fortune pick, again, eight and a half stacks of potatoes for the run and only two poison potatoes. So I'm pretty sure at this point that uh, fortune does not affect the uh, the poison potato drop rate. But again, I'll, I'll have to do the, the math to see if I can actually answer that with any certainty. It just seems like the pattern is that I get somewhere between two and five potatoes per row, and I'm not seeing an uptick with the when using fortune tools. All right, so oh, interesting. I didn't get any poison potatoes that time. Uh, so the ratio here holds about nine to five and a half. So what is that? Nine five point five. Get about a sixty-three percent increase. 
uh, appears to be the case. Interesting. Uh, beetroot. Uh, this one will probably be like wheat in that you get uh, far more seeds than you do beets. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because it's in the game. And uh, you can't trade the beets with the farmer uh, villagers. So it's kind of useless from a, uh, from a trading standpoint. Uh, the, the beets are useful from... A dye standpoint because it's an easy way of getting red dye it's a renewal easily renewable way of getting red dye without burning bone meal on uh, rose bushes or just running around picking red flowers you can also use the beetroot of course to make beetroot stew but which is a pretty decent food but it's not uh, it's not the best food in the game so let's see what we got here yep we got exactly two beetroots and Four, uh, st two stacks of beetroots and or beets and, oops, and a few stacks of seeds. So with the beetroot seeds, four stacks, you get you get double. It looks like you get about double the number of beetroot seeds. By using a fortune, by using a fortune tool, a fortune enchant on your tool, which again, not terribly helpful because the seeds themselves are only useful for growing more. And if you get more than a one to one, um, then you kind of end up with this glut of seeds, the same way you do with the wheat. And at least the seeds you can, with the wheat seeds, you can you can use them to breed chickens, I guess. I don't know if any animals will uh, eat the beetroot seeds themselves. But uh, there we go. So we're getting close to the end here of all the wooden tools. And then I got to replant and try stone and see if that makes any difference. I have a feeling the tool type is not going to make any difference. But I'd like to know because you never know. There's, there's a chance that maybe... Uh, Maybe golden axes are the best for uh, gardening. Maybe they give you an improvement over uh, over all the others. Who knows? Interesting. I'm sure this was just random numbers, but these uh, I only got seven, seven and a half stacks of beetroot seeds with the enchanted pickaxe, whereas I got eight for the enchanted uh, axe. Again, I'm sure that's just random variation, but we'll see. All right, and the uh, the fortune shovel gets you, got me eight and a half. Um, so that's seven and a half, eight and a half, and uh, eight, just over eight. So, you know, somewhere in there, around eight, uh, eight stacks, whoops. Um, Huh. Interesting. All right. That does put durability on the shovel, though. Nothing else took durability for all the farming. All right. So that's uh, that's the wooden tools. I got to replant. And um, yeah. <laughs> and do it all again with uh, with stone. Just see if it makes a difference. Thank goodness for commands. Woo. So now I have everything planted and we just do this. And watch everything grow up. Come on, fly. And everything should grow in pretty quickly. We told it to do all the random things a thousand times faster than usual. Okay, cool. Put it back down to the regular default three. All right, so obviously hand. I don't need to redo the hand one, although it'll give me more data. Um, the hoe. 
pretty sure won't be any different. Oh! <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Um... Boop. Boop. I wonder if you can control the stage by doing that. Yes. Oh, so I don't even need to make it grow. An unknown error occurred while attempting to perform this command. Wait, six. Wait, seven. Oh, so seven is mature. Cool. Okay, so don't forget. Put us back in survival. Oops. Okay, that was much, much better. So, let's see if this makes a difference. I probably, instead of going through and doing all of them up, I should probably just go and like switch to the diamond and see if diamond makes an appreciable difference or not. Because if diamond makes us, if the, the material type makes a small difference, then you would expect the diamond would make the most difference over wooden tools, but we'll see. But we got the same amount, three and a half stacks, three and a half stacks ish. So I don't think that the, as I said, there's nothing on the wiki about it. Uh, the, the tool type making the difference and it, it does not appear to be the case. I wouldn't expect it to. So I'm just trying to confirm. So it seems like having a wooden ax with a fortune three enchant on it, you don't have to worry about Unbreaking or uh, amending <laughs> doesn't seem to be necessary, which is kind of cool. All right. Um, yeah. So I'll keep doing this. I'm not going to. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. This is several hours worth of work, and then I got to gather data and and check it out. But I think it's pretty safe to say that. Uh, having the fortune enchant on even a wooden axe uh, or a wooden tool uh, makes a makes a sub, sub significant difference in yield and farming, which is uh, what I wanted to prove. So there you have it. Um, If I find any surprises, I'll come back and uh, and sort of share that with you. But I think at the moment that we've learned what we're going to learn. So there you go. Hope you found this interesting and informative. Uh, I certainly did. So I will see you next time on Minecraft Science. All right, bye. Okay, everybody. So welcome back. So we've got a lot of chests here. And we've got a bunch of stuff in it. They're all full of stuff. And uh, I've done all the testing, and the results are pretty much as I predicted. I added some command blocks to replant. Boop. And this is kind of cool. You can actually put in the age of the plants as a data value here so that you can just go in and uh, pop, make them all so they're already ready to harvest. Makes it nice and nice and fast. Pretty cool. Uh, so, the results, as I said, are pretty much what I expected. Um, 
when it comes to harvesting, the tool does not matter, nor does it matter what it's made of. So, so this here is harvesting by hand. It's kind of my uh, control group, if you will. And in all cases, all cases of the wheat, they all have two stacks of wheat. Fortune doesn't help this. It doesn't give you any more wheat. All it does is increase the number of seeds, which is kind of useless, which is interesting. Um, carrots, carrots. Fortune gives you more carrots. So here, this is pretty typical, about uh, five and a half, six-ish stacks of carrots. With the non-fortune, with the fortune, eight and a half, nine-ish. Um, potatoes, same sort of thing. So the potatoes with the fortune um, get you more potatoes. It does not increase the number of poisonous potatoes. It's probably just as well. And the beetroot is like the wheat. You get two stacks of beetroot. And two stacks because I have each row is 128 long. So you get one per. And fortune just increases the number of beetroot seeds that you get. Um, and as I said, the tool doesn't matter and what the tool's made of doesn't matter. Uh, the only, the only thing that I found was golden shovels are really difficult to use for harvesting because they, uh, they're too fast. They have a tendency to dig up the soil beneath it. Uh, so that isn't particularly good. So what I found is also that, uh, Durability doesn't come into play. Uh, I noticed that I have some durability on the shovels because I kept accidentally digging up dirt. Uh, so really, because it's the fastest, the golden, an enchanted golden axe would be the best, the quickest for digging up uh, uh, crops. Although honestly, I didn't notice it to be significantly faster. Now, if you're interested in the numbers here, I've gone and, and put everything into a spreadsheet. Um, it's a Google Doc and I'll post it on there, but you'll notice that basically for, you know, as I said, the wheat and the beetroot, it's all exactly the same. Uh, and, and what I kind of grouped it into tools with fortune and chan and tools without the fortune and chan. And you can see that there's some variation, of course, because it's a random number generator but the uh, the fortune enchant is pretty consistent as well and you end up with about the same regardless of what tool it is or what it's made of so that's why on the minecraft land party server um, I just made a wood axe with fortune on it and it kind of maximizes the thing so I'll put a link to this in the uh, in the the notes in the description of the video uh, and uh, yeah, so this uh, this took a lot of work. It's uh, it takes some time to go through and uh, and switch tools, do all the enchanting, and each one of these rows I had to harvest multiple times to fill up each of these chests. So the hand one I only did once, but the others I had to do five times because there's five different materials for each of the tools with and without enchants. <laughs> so it took a little while, but I got the answer I wanted and I know that there's no real value to harvesting. Uh, the only thing that really makes a difference is as far as carrots and potatoes go, you want to harvest with a fortune three tool and it could be anything. It could be a wooden ax. Um, the uh, shovels are not great because you end up digging up, especially the golden shovels, you end up digging up uh, the, the dirt accidentally. Uh, so, so that's really it. And then when it comes to the beetroots and the wheat, all you get with the fortune and chan is extra seeds. And you end up with too many seeds as it is, generally speaking. So you may as well just do those with your hand. All right. So there we go. That's what I learned. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Minecraft Science. All right, bye.